Hello everybody. Today I want to show you a game from the 8th round of the Aeroflot Open that's um, taking place right now, February 27th, 2018. This game is between Grandmaster uh, Mikhail Antipov, uh, age 21, with the white pieces, and Gada Komsky with the black pieces. Now, uh, most of you are familiar with Gada Kamsky. Just a quick uh, bio on Mikhail Antipov. Uh, he's one of those uh, many Russian uh, grandmasters. Uh, he achieved his uh, grandmaster title at age 16 in 2013, which made him the uh, youngest GM in Russia at the time. He also won the under-20 world championship in uh, 2017. And he played in the Chess World Cup in 2017, but was eliminated uh, by Evgeny Tomashevsky. So let's get right into the game. It was pretty uh, exciting, and I hope you enjoy it too. So again, Komsky with the white pieces, Mikhail Antipov with the black pieces. Game started out E4 from Komsky. I was expecting uh, D4, the London system, but we have E4 on board, E6. Now Antipov, D4, D5, and now the exchange variation from Komsky. E takes D5, E takes D5. Now, uh, Grandmaster level, and I'm speaking of 2,500 plus versus 2,500 plus. This opening uh, system is very uh, drawish. Uh, White only scores about uh, 17 to 18 percent in uh, victories uh, wise and black only 15 to 16 percent and the rest are all draws so this has an extremely uh, drawish reputation and it really takes two players who uh, really want to fight and go at it to make something uh, out of this opening Kamsky continued with the move knight f3 and bishop f5 uh, from Antipov. Now, there's many uh, different moves that can be played here, of course. Knight f6, for example, bishop d6, knight c6. There are so many good moves and choices for black. Bishop g4, c6. So, if black is really content on going for draw, uh, it is pretty easy for him to do. Antipov played bishop f5, which is just as good. Kamsky plays bishop d3. And Antipov exchanges. Again, he could have played a move like bishop g6. Again, uh, being very cautious. Nothing wrong with this. This is a main line move here. Now, Kamsky must have been uh, preparing for this game and saw the game <coughs> between... Uh, Grandmaster Antipov uh, with the white pieces and another player named um, uh, Aryan Tari uh, rated 2600 uh, who had the white pieces because uh, Kamsky followed this game which um, subsequently uh, Antipov had lost and that game followed the same line Queen takes d3 was played Knight c6, castles, and you can see uh, Antipa preparing to castle on the queen side to make it exciting. So, like I said, this has a very drawish reputation, but if both players are willing uh, to mix it up and castle uh, opposite sides, then you can get a real battle. But um, a lot of players are unwilling to do that, but Antipa uh, is in has played this line uh, before. So queen d7. Rook e1 by Kamsky. And now knight g e7. And of course with a move like knight g7. You can see that the black's dark square bishop. Is blocked in. And so there's really no way that he is going to really try to castle. Uh, queen side or uh, king side rather. Here Kamsky played bishop d2. Preparing the move B4. Now, in the stem game that Kamsky probably saw, 
player Tyree played the move B4 exclamation mark and uh, this is based on the idea that happened in the game knight takes B4 queen B3 attacking the knight knight C6 took, took place queen takes B7 rook B8 queen A6 F6 making uh, some room for the king now that the king will not be going to the queen side bishop a3 king f7 and c4 and you can see uh, in this position uh, black is definitely uh, walking a tight a tight rope here and has to be very careful and uh, although he's not lost in this position white is better Okay, white is better uh, structurally or statically rather and he is also uh, his, his pieces are better developed and better placed however <clears throat> Kamsky decides to play Bishop d2 with uh, a little more preparation perhaps he feared uh, some improvement uh, by Antipov here and he decided to prepare the move b4 first so f6 with the same idea uh, Antipov is uh, anticipating the pawn storm on the queen side and therefore he is just uh, going to put his king on f7 b4 anyway by Kamsky a6 a4 so Kamsky is just grabbing the space g5 and now you can see that uh, basically uh, black is burning his bridges at this point and uh, there is no turning back from this uh, this type of commitment in the position you're either gonna you know basically win by checkmate or, or lose in the ending here knight a3 g4 knight h4 and you can see uh, white uh, black's pawn structure is terrible what I don't like about black's position is that his middle game chances are worse because his pieces are not developed and his end game chances are worse so his position there is no uh, compensation for the pawn structure uh, being uh, damaged like this alright usually when your pawn structure looks like black blacks does in this position you want to have some type of uh, compensation in, in form of uh, a great peace play some type of attack or something uh, to to uh, make up for for this uh, horrible pawn uh, situation on the uh, king side all of these weak squares uh, left behind etc so Kamsky has both the better middle game prospects and he has a better end game if it would go there so uh, I don't really see what black is is trying to do in playing this particular uh, system uh, here and it, it definitely looks like it needs some work King f7 b5 so Komsky continues to just grab the space and open up lines on the queen side knight takes b5 knight g6 and now here are some good tactics by Komsky notice that um, black is, is moving around you know the same pieces uh, more than once not really developing um, although the rook on a8 is kind of developed now by default look at the bishop uh, on f8 and the rook on h8 and of course uh, knight g6 has uh, hopes of bringing that bishop out on f8 but now with Komsky being fully developed himself he initiates an assault on the black position so let's see what happens so queen f5 first of all attacking the queen again the better uh, prospects in the end game or with uh, white here so it doesn't matter to Komsky if uh, Queen takes f5 is played but Komsky uh, has his mind on uh, attacking the king rook d8 and now Queen h5 with the idea of putting the knight on the f5 square now knight e7 also <clears throat> also there was a, a threat here sorry I didn't mention knight takes g6 with the rook 
uh, looking suspect on uh, H8. So that has to be defended. So now uh, Black has to kind of undevelop, if you will, and play Knight E7 to back up his pinned Knight. Simple move, Bishop F4. You see Kamsky just improving the pieces. And here's a concrete threat on C7. Notice the pin again um, on the G6 Knight. King G7. And now a pawn is just uh, captured. Bishop takes C7. Rook attack. So the rook goes to C8. And now uh, Kamsky finishes off things in fine style. If you want to pause the video uh, and um, figure out what Kamsky did, go ahead and do so right now. For the rest of you who want to enjoy the show, let's do it. Rook takes E7 check. Bishop takes E7. Now, real quick, Queen takes E7 is out of the picture because of the simple uh, fork. Knight F5 check. Knight takes E7 is also a lost cost. Just for example, Knight, um, I almost said Knight F5. Knight uh, D6 just uh, simply attacking the rook here. And let's say if rook takes c7, then just real simple. There's a couple of moves that like queen f7, but knight h knight h f5 check is uh you know good enough to uh, close the deal for what uh, we're trying to do here. Okay. An idea, you come back there and you get mated right there. So after rook takes e7, check. Antipar finally gets his bishop off the back rank, but it's all too late. And real simple chess, knight f5, check. King f7, back in, back in the pen. And now bishop d6. And just a simple, uh, it's a simple numbers game now whereby, of course, if Antipov takes on d6, then there's a fork with one of the knights. So now he undevelops the bishop. Kamsky grabs the undeveloped bishop for tactical reasons. Of course, the king gets out of the way of the fork. And after rook uh, e1, uh, Antipov had enough and he just, uh, just resigned. It's just too much... Um, too much peace activity uh, from white and too little peace activity from black. And uh, his pawn structure is busted uh, to boot. So very uh, dynamic uh, game uh, by uh, Gada Kamsky, who, who's doing um, decently in this tournament, at least, with the, at least with the white pieces. I believe he has three wins and one draw in eight rounds. Uh, he's, he's hit a couple of uh, a speed bump. With the uh, with the black pieces, but with the white pieces, uh, he is doing um, uh, pretty good in this tournament. So anyway, I hope you uh, like that. Uh, please like and subscribe and and uh, comment and check my uh, links below. And um, I'll see you on the next video. We'll be doing some more uh, games uh, from this tournament.